Um, all right, let's see. Uh, he's looking. Right, he's looking at his. Uh, he's looking at his freaking notebook over here. And he goes. Yeah. Nope. Uh, this man. It, it's on the list, so we have to do it. And so sorry, you got to do it. And uh, that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that he wasn't at that time constantly inco un incompetent enough to say. You know what? That's a great question. Let's go ask my boss, right? The boss, of course, would told him, it's like, no, we can't be doing that. We like, fucking want to get a lawsuit against us, right? So, I don't know what happened to the guy. If he got away with it or not, if he got hurt or not, I don't know. The rest of the story, right? He must not have hurt himself because we didn't hear that part. But, uh, this is silly, right? And, uh, so when you're training a trainer to be a trainer, right? Uh, why are you going to pay him the same amount as the dude who... You don't know, have to overshadow a guy that's probably not going to get any lawsuits against you because he's experienced, he or she's experienced, got a good reputation, you know, uh, uses their brain uh, they've got, based off of experience, not to give their people are stupid. They just, you know, be like me working on cars, right? And they're going to teach me how to freaking, you know, be a, be an engineer, right? And get in there and, and change the oil and, and uh, do all these sophisticated tasks, you know, like freaking, you know, check all these things, like check different levels of like fluids and, and uh, oil and, you know, uh, gas and, and all that stuff and make sure the right levels are there and, and uh, you know, take the entire thing apart, you know, to put in, you know, like a spark plug or, you know, or, or to put in a new battery, you know, even those huge projects like that, you know, or even bigger projects like take out the entire motor, right, put another motor in, right, um, you know, that takes some take some balls, it also takes some, some, some of this, some experience, more than anything else, right? And uh, I don't have none of that, right? So if I'm driving down the road, and I'll uh, say it's fucking sputtering, and then goes, <clears throat> and it goes off the side of the road, right? And I look, and that thing's got gas in it. Well, fuck, if it's got gas in it, it ain't moving. I try to start it again, it don't go nowhere, it don't, 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 don't click or nothing, it doesn't uh, turn over or nothing, right? I'm calling it AAA, right? Because it's, uh, it's got gas in it. What the fuck am I supposed to do, right? It's broken, okay? So, if it's on a mechanic, right, I'm going to be working on your car, right? Uh, should I make the same amount of money as the, the well, I may fucking break something or, or fucking make the car even worse? It costs the company even more money, right? Instead of the company making money and we get sued because it's disconnected certain wiring and reconnected it completely wrong, right? And now that's going to be my fault, right? And it's going to reflect badly on the dealership and technically the dealership's fault because they hired me and we supervised me to do that shit, right? So whose fault is it? It's fucking my fault, right? And uh, for, for being a green trainer and not asking, you know, if there's something else, you should use your brain, right? Of course, there's going to be another exercise we can do to, to work that, that body part without blowing the, the shoulder out, right? If there isn't, guess what? Maybe we don't do shoulders that day, right? Or maybe we do isometric movements with no weight. And now we're doing physical therapy as well, right? So now we're on the road to recovery. And bada bing, bada boom, we didn't hurt nothing. We actually made it stronger, right? So that's my point. But... A new guy's not going to know that. And if the new guy or the new gal is smart enough to ask for suggestions and things like that and help, and that's a liability for the club, guys. So why should that motherfucker make $20 an hour when the gym's charging 60 to 80 and, uh, they charge, and my cord trains a client, does it perfectly, and doesn't hurt the client, and doesn't, you know, have any... And open them up for lawsuits, and he gets twenty dollars, and because of the experience, twenty dollars and fifty cents. No, pay that, pay that freaking green guy, you know, like twelve to fifteen, okay, and pay the experienced guy, okay. And I'm not saying it's, it's just, uh, Gold's Gym does this. Uh, I haven't looked into it hundred percent, but uh, I've looked into some corporate gyms, and they do this. They do this shit. So, um, let's say that, uh, so, and then give fucking the, the experienced guy, let's give him or her 25 or $30, right? 
not twenty dollars and fifty cents. What the fucking do, right? So that that uh, that's not gonna make the uh, the person of value feel valued. He's gonna feel like, well, fuck. So this fucking so this fucking guy can come in and fucking no experience and replace me that easy, you know. And and so it just that's why I don't. Uh, that's why I don't work for corporate gyms, right? Because they don't. Uh, they don't see any more value in me versus somebody that doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, right? And I'm a team player, too. It's not like I'm be like, okay, well, you know, we're doing it my way or the highway. It's like they got certain, hey, this this month, everybody across the board, I don't give a fuck. We're all doing five-by-fives. Done, all right? That's what we're doing, right? And when I get too much flack, I will say, write that in a note or come back and to the boss or whatever, I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna throw the club under the bus and go, I just don't agree with that, and I think this is bullshit, and then I'm gonna go with the flow, and then I'm gonna ask their, answer their questions the best as possible, you know, and then if, uh, they say I have to do a different program, I'm just gonna say, you know what, that's a great question, I don't know, let me answer my boss, you know, I do have plenty of other workouts I can put you through, uh, that have different strategies and techniques and science behind it, more volume, this and that, and the other thing, and it is what it is. And it is what it is, and we'll figure it out, figure it out together. And it could be because they have a whole, a whole series of that. So one month is five by fives. Another, week, another month, it's more bodybuilding. Another month, it's more powerlifting based. Another month, it's more power bodybuilding based. Another month, it's hit training based, right? And then they're switching up maybe the high reps and the low reps, or maybe they're kind of another month they try to flip it all into a little bit of high reps and a little bit of low reps and. But I mean, but it won't change the whole thing around, right? That's my point. Um, but anyways, it's been showtime. Showtime, should I fit this over here? Size, close. Get big.